Hey, what's going on guys? Revo here. So today we're going to be building some custom trees in Minecraft. I'm going to be doing a custom tree and landscaping tutorial for every single biome in Minecraft. So today, the first one we're going to be doing is a swamp biome. And as you can see, I have already recorded this episode, but forgot to unmute my microphone. So we have two trees designs here today. And the first one is going to be a regular old swampy looking tree with some vines and stuff hanging off the sides. And then we're also going to go over a dead tree design because you know in a swamp the wind could be blowing they could knock a tree over they could grow old and fall and we want to have trees that are on the ground as well as uh, standing so we're gonna be going over a design like this and we're gonna be going over a design like this so uh, let's just get right into it so I've cleared a little spot here and I'm gonna I have to say our swamp biome is gonna be looking pretty nice at the very end and I have to sleep we're back okay it is a new day and now we're gonna start building our custom trees so I'm gonna give you guys a little bit of tips as I go and then also if you want to completely replicate my design you can just the way that I learned a couple years ago was just pausing the video and placing each block as I do I'll try and go slow but I am a fast talker we're gonna build up our our, uh, our base, our roots of the tree, um, the trunk, I guess we can say, and we're gonna build it up. Uh, that looks about enough. And then one thing that you really have to keep in mind, and it's very important, are the roots of the tree. So we're gonna come down here and just start building some roots, possibly uh, maybe ones that go like this. Um, for this uh, scenario right here, we have some water. Maybe we could put the roots going in. Yeah, that looks nice. Um, cover some of this up and then keep this going that looks good and then probably about one more root going this way we'll say um, like that that looks good to me and then we'll cover this up uh, the, I, you, you never want to have two blocks facing each other like that so we always want to add a third one then we'll do this okay great so now we've got our roots and then we can also build up the base of this uh, this tree trunk if you if you will so then we're gonna build this up Maybe do one more here, uh, a couple more there, and then carry this out a little bit. Sorry, I didn't mean to place that. Actually, no, I want that one. And then we're going to place this. So there, that's a good start for our tree. So now we're going to do the branches. What I like to do for swamp biomes especially is I like to have trees with long branches that have leaves and vines hanging off of them. So we're going to do our first branch. We're going to do three or no, we're going to do four in total and they're going to carry out like this. So we're going to, you make sure, you want to make sure that they're like nice and twisty like this kind of. Um, yeah, that looks good for the first one. And then we got to remember our base is right here. Okay, so then we're going to come out like this, maybe. Bring that one that far. Um, one good thing to keep in mind also is to keep one branch higher than its opposite branch. Uh, it's just something I like to do. And we're going to fill that in. Maybe come out this way. And we're going to build this one up high because this is our back branch. If we're looking at it from that side, we want this to be seen. So I don't like that. We're going to do this. Come around and place that block right there. And then that one's going to go a little bit higher up. And then this one, we're just going to bring out to here and leave it right there. Okay, this looks perfect so far. So now we're just going to go and start adding in the leaves. So we'll start with the smallest branch first because that just makes the most sense to me. Uh, we're going to place this out, maybe come out this, this far. Uh, go in, place that. Uh, do these two. Place some more leaves like this. Um, I like to do this little uh, outreach right here of this one uh, this one leaf where it comes out. Maybe we'll even do one more like that. That looks pretty good to me. Then we will go up to this branch and we want to make sure that we're covering every single piece of wood. Maybe not every single one, but we want to make sure that there's not just any random wood sticking out. That looks good to me right there. That's perfect. I'm gonna come up this way and then we're gonna get down here start on our next branch this middle you kind of want to keep a lower than the branches so a good rule of thumb is your smallest branch cannot be any uh, higher than the middle otherwise the whole way your tree looks is gonna look pretty weird so uh, we're just gonna come up this way now yeah this is looking good guys cover that one more out one more like this that looks good block block this and then like I said uh, you can slow down videos on YouTube now so slow this down a lot if you want to copy this block for block or possibly learn on your own uh, or you can pause the video at any moment and copy it out that way if a couple of you guys comment 
down below that you want a world download so you can go and look at this firsthand. I will be more than happy to provide you with that. Come on like this. Okay, perfect. So looks like we've got all of our branches done. So let's go see what this looks like right now. So yes, I'm liking that. It looks a little bit too skinny in the trunk, which is the first thing I noticed. So maybe we'll bring this down, that down, uh, add this right here. Bring that up all the way so it is a 2x2 two two trunk, which makes a little bit more sense. And then possibly bring this up to there. Yes, that looks good. Then maybe this and that. So there. Now it looks like it can support it more. This, may, this looks like it makes a little bit more sense. This has to come out one more because it doesn't look like it can support the branch and then bring this one down. So what we want to do is make sure there's these nice flowing leaves that uh, sprinkle down from the trees. So you want to add one on every branch at least maybe um, maybe one just right here, a very short one uh, coming right here. We want that to come down like this and then possibly from our top branch which is right there. That looks good. Now we're going to swing along to this one. When we're on the underside of the tree, we want to cover up those logs like that and then bring this down. So now let's go see what this looks like. Whoops, I did not mean to do that. So there, now we've got a pretty sweet looking tree. Um, I'm going to bring that down one more. See, as we see it from here, it's two by two, so it looks like it can support it. Since this is going to come up another level, we're going to go down one more right here. Yeah, guys, this is looking really good. So now we're just going to add in leaves where it looks like it needs it. So you want to make sure you're kind of randomly placing them. We want this to look as natural as possible, just like it was randomly generated, but with a better generating algorithm. Sorry, Minecraft, you guys really need to improve on your trees. What are those abominations? <laughs> so now we're just going to place some more leaves everywhere and uh, this is looking pretty snazzy if I do say so myself. So bring that down a couple and there. So now we've got our Whomping Willow looking tree which perfectly in my opinion suits the look of swamps. It's not quite this one. I think this one turned out a little bit better. But uh, this one, no, it's not looking too bad. So now we're going to go along the bottom. Just going to add in a couple more leaves here and there just where I think that it might need them. Nope, that's looking good. Now we're going to go along the bottom and just add some leaves like this. So you can also add them in the ground. Remember, leaves need to be near a log for them to stay. So maybe we'll add one there. Right here, here, here. Add a couple more. You know, just, just leave. There's leaves on the bottom. The tree could drop leaves. It could fall if it, the wind's blowing. You know, stuff like that. We want these to make to look as natural as possible. Remember. That one is totally out of place. Let's get rid of that. And then now, we're just going to go along the bottom. We're going to bone meal the crap out of this uh, of this grass. Make sure there's some nice long grass growing around it. Maybe bone meal some a, a second time, you know, just to make it look a little bit more natural. And there we go. So that is our first... Oh, I almost forgot a spot. That's not very good. There we go. So that is our first custom tree design we're going to be doing. Another thing that we, you can also do is add vines along the sides of these. The vines will hang down like this, which makes it look pretty cool in my opinion. Yeah, that's going to look really good as soon as it comes down. And then you can put one on the side of the tree like that. So there is our first design for a swampy looking tree thing or my bobber custom tree, custom biome, whatever you want to call it. And yeah, does that not look like a much better swamp biome? I, I think so myself. Again, you guys might disagree with that. I've had people say that my custom tree designs look like crap, but hey, it's all about how you design your tree. So the second one we're going to do is like so. It's going to be a fallen tree, dead tree, blown over by the wind tree design. And you want to look, this is a nice area, this, this general decline right here. So uh, we're going to add, sorry, they need to be like this. We're going to add that. And this tree looks like it has fallen. And we're going to add some branches coming like this because hey trees have branches that's that's definitely a thing and it's going to come down like this all right great so now we're going to go and add some leaves in here it's all about placing them random to make them look uh, as natural as possible maybe this one will go too high that one will go one high like so there we go this is starting to look pretty good and then like that okay maybe add a branch right there 
Yeah, I'm liking the way this is turning out. Okay, great. So now we have a fallen tree. Oops, so I'm gonna add a couple more. And then this kind of, this is a bad placement for it. It kind of looks like it is into this root now. Maybe we'll just do this to uh, to make it not look like that. But okay, guys, there you go. So now we've got a fallen tree design. Maybe place this right here. Just a little bit more detail added to it. And then again, we're gonna go and bone meal all of this grass around it to make it look like that grass has been there for a while. Maybe bone meal a couple of them a second second time and there we go so there there is our two custom tree designs for swamp biomes I'm pro probably going to be doing one for every single biome in Minecraft depending on how this video is received so there is your first example of the tree and the fallen tree and there is your second example of a tree and a fallen tree so um, like like you guys can obviously see my design making the trees it's all about placing the blocks to look natural once you do it a couple times you're gonna knack for it and these two trees look completely different maybe they follow the same style where they have the trees hanging down but that's how I imagine swamp trees everyone has a different imagination that's pretty clear so maybe you'll imagine these a different way and build them a different way so those are the two examples thank you guys so much for watching if you guys would like the world download I just need one comment and I'll throw it in the description there for you guys so yeah this is our custom terraformed custom tree swamp biome thingy so hope you guys enjoyed and learned a little bit this has been Revo, and I'll see you guys later peace guys